the science classroom today's topic is balanced chemical equation this important for class 10th first chapter so let's see the previous class first activity that is magnesium ribbon burning clear now the equation is magnesium ribbon burns in presence of oxygen to give you magnesium oxide this is your reactant site and this is your product reactant site is called lhs and that product site is called rhs now see whether this equation is balanced or not balanced how to so how to know this you have to count the number of atoms of magnesium and the number of atoms of oxygen on both the side whether it is equal or not equal if equal then it is a balanced equation if not equal then it is an unbalanced equation so let's examine magnesium 1 oxygen 2 here magnesium magnesium 1 oxygen 1 so one oxygen is less on product side it is not a balanced equation rather we say it is unbalanced equation on unbalanced equation this unbalanced equation is also called as skeletal chemical equation skeletal chemical equation yes one more one more law we have to recall from class 9 that law of conservation of mass what that law is law of conservation of mass this law tells that this mass is neither created right not destroyed in any one of the reaction so mass here oxygen mass is for example it is 2 but here it is 1 where is the one mass where is one more oxygen so this equation is not balanced as per this also because the mass cannot be created or cannot be destroyed here it is destroyed so this is a unbalanced equation take one more example sodium hydroxide combines with hydrochloric acid that gives you sodium chloride plus water here we will count sodium 1 sodium 1 oxygen 1 oxygen 1 hydrogen 1 plus 1 2 2 chlorine 1 chlorine 1 so on both the side number of atoms of each element are equal on both the sides so it is a balanced equation one more example you can take from your book that is zinc it is written like this zinc plus sulfuric acid that gives you zinc sulfate plus hydrogen if it is reaction chemical equation is written like this it is called ward equation what called this ward equation so you have to convert this ward equation into formula equation what is the formula of zinc the zinc formula is zn sulfuric acid formula is h2 so4 that gives you zinc sulfate plus hydrogen here also we'll count the number of atoms of hydrogen here hydrogen 2 here hydrogen 2 2 zinc 1 zinc 1 sulfur 1 sulfur 1 oxygen 4 oxygen 4 so it is also a 
balanced equation. Next topic is how to balance a chemical equation. Clear? Let's understand this one with a example. The example is iron in presence of water to give Fe3O4 plus hydrogen. Okay. So iron symbol is Fe combines in presence of water, it gives Fe3O4 and hydrogen. This is a peculiar compound called ferrous ferric oxide. Ferrous ferric oxide. Right? So, as far as the book is concerned, the first step of balancing a chemical equation is you have to make the box around each reactants like this and around each products. So, this is the first point to make the box around the reactant molecules and the product molecules. Most important point here you have to note that you are not going to do any change inside the box. Rather, whatever the changes you will make, it is outside these boxes. Next, second point is to find out the number of atoms present in reactant site as well as present on product side. So product side is generally called as RHS and reactant side is called LHS. Now you will find out the atoms with their number. Let's see iron Fe. How many at LHS? This is LHS. It is 1 and here it is 3. Next is oxygen. How many here? It is 1 and here it is 4. Then hydrogen. How many here? It is 2 and here it is 2. So this is the step 2 of this reaction. Now this step 1 and step 2 often changes that depends on the question. If question is given balance the following equation then you will go for this. If it is told that first check whether the equation is balanced or not. If not balanced you balance the equation. Then you will go for point number 2 first then you will found that there is an imbalance in the equation then you will go for point number 1 then directly proceed to point number 3. So what you have to do in point number 2? Once you got this data, you analyze the number of atoms on LHS and on RHS. See Fe 1 and here it is 3. It means it is not balanced. Oxygen 1, 4. It is also not balanced. Hydrogen 2, 2. It is balanced. Next, you will go to point number 3. First of all, you will find out in which case there is a maximum imbalance that is oxygen where it is four numbers of atoms on right hand side where there is only one on left hand side. So you have to go first you have to balance this one first. So now see where this four is there. So it is in ferrous ferric oxide. So on right hand side four oxygens are there but on left hand side it is one oxygen is there. So you have to make this equal to this. So it is 4 means you have to multiply this with 4 and you will get the number 4. So now these two are balanced. So this 4 you will add before this water. Got my point? So your new equation is Fe plus 4 water that gives you Fe3 4 plus hydrogen. Got? Next point is fourth point point number four. Third point is it is balanced oxygen is balanced in third point. Now fourth point again you have to analyze this equation. What is the change? 
Once we add 4, this hydrogen changed. Now it is hydrogen's new number arises here. That is 8. New number of hydrogen arises here. That is 8. Where is on this side, product side, RSS RS side, it is still 2. And ferrous is as such, you have analyzed first one. So now, question arises, which one you have to balance first, whether ferrous or up to you. You may balance hydrogen or you may balance ferrous. But as for the formula, the maximum number, now the maximum number is hydrogen, it is having 8. So we will go for balancing hydrogen. Hydrogen. See, on LHS side, Hydrogen is 8 and RHS side is 2. So what is the number variation? It is 2, 8. What is the multiplication here? If you will multiply it with 4, you will get 8. So the coefficient here is 4. So you will add this 4 at hydrogen. Now again you will got another new equation. Ferrous plus 4 water. 1 ferrous ferric oxide and 4 hydrogen. Still your F is not balanced. Then fifth, fifth step. Fifth point, you will go and balance Fe. 3, 1, so you will multiply it with 3. So it is 3. Now this is your third equation you get from that first one. Point number 6. Now you will go for checking this equation whether all atoms are balanced or not balanced. Clear? 3 Fe. Okay. This side 3 Fe. It is okay. Oxygen 4, 4. Oxygen 4, 4. Hydrogen 8. Hydrogen this side 8. Now this equation is a balanced equation. Now the equation is so after point 6, you got an equation like this. It is a balanced equation. But if you see it carefully, you will not find what is the physical state of iron, what is the physical state of water, what is the physical state of this molecule and this hydrogen. Whether it is a solid or a gas or a liquid, it is not mentioned here. So the physical state simply includes S solid, liquid, gas, all the chemical is present in watery solution, clear, watery solution. So if it is a solid, you can use the symbol S, if it is a liquid, you can symbol, use the symbol L, gas for G and if it is in water solution, you can use A, Q, aqueous, clear. So here the Fe. It is a solid one. So you can use the symbol S. Water, it is the steam provided to this. Steam is past our iron. So it is written as gas. Now, this one which is formed is a, a solid one. Yes. And here it is released in the form of gas. So like this, you will give the physical state of the reactants as well as the products. Sometimes, some conditions are made during the equation. That may be at given atmospheric pressure, at given temperature or in presence of something, the reaction is proceeding. So you have to add all these things on or below this arrow mark. If it is heated, you may give the symbol like this. It is heated. If it is under a pressure of 340 atmospheric pressure, you can write ATM. If it is a given temperature, you can write the temperature. If something is there in that presence, this reaction takes place, that may be a catalyst. So you can write the name of that catalyst, whatever it may be the catalyst. So like this, these things are used and the equation is balanced. So this is the eighth point where you will write the condition of the reaction 
and this is the seventh point which refers to the physical state of the reaction clear one more example i'll give you carbon dioxide plus water that gives you c6 h12o6 right plus oxygen plus water it is a reaction this is called photosynthesis reaction so what is the condition here this carbon dioxide which is used here in the form of aqueous water is in liquid form this is formed in aqueous solution oxygen is also formed in aqueous solution and water is released in the form of liquid so like this and this is again one one thing is that it is presence in it occurs in presence of sunlight and chlo chlorophyll so these are the two condition if chlorophyll is not available this reaction will not proceed if sunlight is not available this reaction is not possible so this point this one it marks the eighth step this 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 marks the seventh place and remaining balancing equation c carbon it is not balanced c6 s12 o so you have to balance it now it is a homework for you to balance this one okay you have to balance this equation as per the first six point so there are the homeworks for you first of all mg plus o o2 that gives you mg o this is the second equation you have to balance first one is that uh, photosynthesis reaction this is the second reaction you have to balance the third one is pb no3 whole 2 plus potassium can you remember this equation yeah first second one potassium iodide that gives you pb i2 plus k no3 you have to balance this equation hydrogen plus chlorine that gives you hcl balance this equation fifth number barium chloride plus aluminum sulfate that gives you barium sulfate plus aluminum chloride you have to balance this equation then one more sodium in presence of water that gives you sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen right if you balance all these five six equations you will get the answer of all those questions present in page number 6 of your book next video is on types of chemical reactions okay thank you if you like this video please share like comment and subscribe this channel